This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Barcelona. Household sprays and cleaners account for one in seven cases of asthma. While cleaners have been linked to occupational cases of asthma, a Spanish study of over 3,000 people has now linked the development of asthma or reactive airways disease to the use of household sprays and cleaners as little as once per week. From Washington, the FDA will examine claims that some lipsticks contain lead. Research done by the advocacy group Campaign for Safe Cosmetics has shown that many best-selling brands have lead levels that exceed 0.1 parts per million, the FDA's limit for levels in candy. Some some brands like L'Oreal, Color Rich True Red, and Classic Wine had six times the FDA's limit. From North Carolina, heart researchers are calling on primary care physicians and oncologists to be aware of the effects that breast cancer treatment and post-treatment lifestyle can have on the risk of heart disease. Many with breast cancer reduce their exercise and gain significant weight during treatment. In addition, many treatments can raise the risk of thrombosis and negatively affect the fraction of pumped blood out of the heart with each beat. And finally from New York, could statins help those with COPD? A research study on more than 800 men followed for 10 years has shown that those who use statins had a slower decline in lung function. Until further research is done, statins should be recommended for cardiovascular prevention and not lung disease. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.